What is going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back here today for another episode of Secret Agent Stash. We're hanging out here at Secret Agent Headquarters, and we have a special guest actually today. It's going to be joining us to do another Web3 gaming tier list. Please help me welcome to the channel my friend here, my brand new friend, uh, Nerdy One. What's going on, man? Good to meet you, man, and thanks for being here. Dude, what's up? What's up? So happy to be here. Very first time getting to know you. Crypto Stash, excited about it. Love the sunglasses, love the hat, and let's get this started, yeah? Okay, first up, Axie Infinity. So really, we have to give props to it, of course. It it was the whole gaming project that restarted this craze, actually put attention to the space. But from a gaming point of view, it is very bland. I'm so sorry. But the whole point of really just pointing and clicking, I mean, Pokemon does it a lot better over here. And I don't see the average gamer actually being excited enough to sustain and play mm -hmm. this for the long term. So I have to say Axie Infinity has to go on the D tier. I, I, I personally, I put Axie Infinity in the wrecked tier. Uh, I, I know that uh, people are like, what wrecked? Well, hey, that's just how I feel about it, man. I mean, some projects yeah. just have to be wrecked in my opinion. Uh, all right, speaking of moving on, let's go to the next project here. What do you think about Blanco's block party? I just played this on my stream last night. Uh, I've been playing it for a while. What, what do you think about Blanco's? I like this one. I think it's uh, it's really, really brilliant here. I mean, I compare it. I'm always going to compare it to traditional games. Fall Guys. I played Fall yep, Guys. Of course. Absolutely brilliant here. And it's something that is easy to understand. You know, it's it's fun. Everyone can kind of join. And it's very casual, right? So this one here is a solid A tier just because of how much it can in just include everyone and bring like attention to the game. All right, last two. I know this is one of your faves. What do you think about Imposters? This is coming from our, our buddy Ooh. over uh, Elio Trades. He, he was talking a lot of shit to me. He said he, he, he was like, uh, you know, he, the imposter crew, the community, you know, said that I should play imposters. And I was like, you know, when, when uh, Elio would jump on and play with me, then I'll do it. And then he tried to tell me that I, that, that uh, if I lost against him, I would need to shave my mustache. All right. First up, completely biased. I'm a ambassador for imposters. So I have to put it out there. It means I kind of I talk a lot about them. I have plenty of content on imposters. And I'll tell you why this is the game that I'm most excited about. One of the ones that I have to put them at the S tier right now first. I'm going one to tell S tier. All right. The only S tier so far. We only have one game left. Yeah. So I'm going to assume that. So basically, all these other games, right, that's listed right now, they are always compared to a specific video game. In instantly, it's just natural. Like gamers like to compare what's better, what's better. Sure. So when you think of imposters is a social deduction video game so what do you compare it with you compare it with among us among us of course yeah. exactly right where else a lot of first person shooters it's difficult to build a game that can surpass call of duty mm -hmm. if you build mm -hmm. an rpg mm -hmm. it's difficult to build a game that can surpass i don't know world of warcraft things like that right and now we add on to the other elements like it's really easy to play you can play with people and if we think of the current gaming like i guess gaming culture right how do games really spread they spread to twitch through YouTube, right? Like streamers itself playing the game. And streamers love social deduction video games. I mean, just Google like, or, you know, Among Us, like plenty of reaction videos. It's mm -hmm. super fun. And that's what gets the attention of the games out. On top of that, they're adding ho this whole new sandbox element in the future. So there's going to be a lot of mini games, you know, they can, so I'm thinking something like a Mario Party right now, but mm -hmm. right now it's just a so social deduction genre right now that we are focused on. Well, yeah. I, I'm excited to, to give it a try. You know, I've seen footage of it, obviously, and I, I've, I've talked to Elio a little bit about it, uh, but I'm going to give it a try. So you guys will be able to see that video next week. So make sure you guys look for a little uh, quick review of imposters and some gameplay and hopefully of me beating Elio at his own game. I mean, it's his game, so I'm sure he has an advantage, but if I beat him, I am going to lord that over him for the rest of our lives <laughs> just so you know uh our last project here today my pet hooligan oh. let's know where you rank this what do, you, what do you think about this game do you know anything about my pet hooligan have you played it i, I, I do I, I haven't personally played it but i see plenty of gameplay of it i watched it a lot i follow its progress i'm actually gonna put this at s tier actually s tier going s yeah. all right wow You're gonna end it strong yeah I think that my pet hooligan is doing some really, really innovative stuff in terms of gaming. So yeah. I, the vibe that I get, it's, it's a combination of like GTA style video game combined with Ratchet and Clank, which is a game <laughs> that I absolutely love. Yeah, it's really so same thing again. A good way of I'll, describing I'll, I'll, all characters, really funny. And you know, like just the branding of the game is so interesting. And when I, when I see the gameplay itself, it just looks like it just looks really fun. Like you want to try mm -hmm. it out. I think that was this whole like facial animation, mm -hmm. like yeah, kind of tied with the actual players doing it. So I thought that was super super cool. And uh, I'm really excited about this project in terms of how they're actually developing. Again, 
things go into you know such a high tier for me when they're actually innovating and doing something really different i'm right there with you man i, I would probably put my pet hooligan a maybe s tier you know i think they have a great game i love the development team i love the angle they're going with a lot of things uh, i i would totally agree with you man i think that there's a lot of unique things about what they're doing and the type of game they're creating and the angle that they've worked you know it's it's it has a, a uniqueness to it that uh we haven't really seen in gaming in general Mm-hmm. And so I'm, I'm really excited to see what, uh, what they do. So I'm right there with you, man. Uh, you know, a, a lot going on, a lot going on in, in the gaming industry. But, uh, you know, thank you so much, uh, Nerdy One, for being here with us, man. I had a really good time with you. I think that you had some great insight here, in particular with these games. You can tell that, uh, you know, you're a gamer. Awesome, man. Hey, thank you so much for having me on. It was a lot of fun. Maybe we can do this another time in the future once all these games get a little more developed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Well, uh, once again, guys, thanks for being here. That's all we have for today. The Great Agent Stash, over and out. Peace.